Sometimes it's hard for people to really love the place that they live in. So it's been really hard for me to make a video about uh, this town of Redcliffe that I live in. And some people even call it Deadcliffe. Like, I, I just don't even know what to film. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the point. But I guess there, there is some beautiful things that I could show you. But I guess I just haven't appreciated them. <laughs> The weather in this part of Australia is really tropical and it is like wet season, you know? It's either wet season or dry season. So in wet season, it can just rain like it's never rained before in your whole life. It's all happening. And you know what? Like crows are the loudest, worst bird in the whole world. I don't think you really realize this. Until you move to Australia, the sound of the crows it's freaking annoying. There's also these other birds where I live. Uh, I think they're called lorikeets or parrots. They're also the loudest birds in the world. So that's always fun in the morning. If you don't put your alarm on in Australia, you're definitely gonna get woken up by some birds. Uh, I'm coming for a coffee. Are you, are you already go, have you already bought it? I gotta get iced latte. All right. Thank you. It's my mum. Now my mum's morning ritual is to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, take the dogs for a little walk around the block, and then go out for a morning coffee. Quite a nice ritual. I decided to take you out and uh, show you what she gets up to. Because I think her starts to the day uh, just really perfect. Although it started to rain. And this is where my mum gets coffee. And that's her just there. Hello, mum. Hello. What are you doing? Good morning. Can I have a high five? No? Okay. What's going on, little buddy? Here's Uncle JJ. Hello, buddy. There's Auntie Indy. Indy. You're going to touch the mean one. Oh. Good, nice work. Very brave of you, Esther. You little, you little monkey, you gonna touch him again? Oh, 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 oh! I forgot to check these eggs. Oh, they're so hot. It looks good though. That was 15 minutes no fuss, you know. Just put it in the air fryer. 15 minutes, 120 degrees. I think we're onto a winner. Mmm, I'm definitely doing this for the rest of my life. Ciao, Oki. Okay. Goodbye. Beautifully unexpected, expected <laughs> wet day. I'm off to work for a little bit. So I thought maybe we could uh, have a little walk through on my way to work. I can show you some things that might be of interest to somebody. see we live very close to the ocean uh, it's not really your surf beach it's more like a bay so you know there's no waves there's some big islands out uh, not real far away from here but I think that kind of stops such big waves happening 
if this town was like a surf town, it would be a completely different vibe, but the beach is nice. But I reckon if you ask like eight out of 10 people, do they go swimming in it? They would all say no. We just go home. It's been six hours. I've got metal in my hand. I've got metal. Next time I'm wearing gloves, next time I handle any cakes. Oh. First I had the wooden splinter, now I've got the metal one. We're heading out. I'm going to show you the rest of my town. Let me know what you think. You know, this is the town that everyone says is dead. This is the town that people don't like. Young people think it's boring. You let me know in the comments what you think of it. I'm going to show you some of my favorite places. Redcliffe isn't all that big. It's, uh, of course, it has about 34. 35,000 people, but uh, mainly the main part of Redcliffe is in this one strip on the promenade. Over there is a jetty we were at this morning uh, and although I've lived close to this beach for the last eight years I've never really swum in it. Anyways we have an Anzac memorial which is pretty cool. <laughs> Now this building over here, it says 1934 it was first built. And that's probably some of the oldest buildings you're probably gonna find around here. Well, at least in Australia that is, you know. If we're looking for like, the oldest building in Redcliffe, which in my perspective is pretty cool, it is the old Camino's Arcade. And it was like one of the first arcades here. It even looks like a theater to be honest. Yeah, these two here are like the oldest buildings in Redcliffe. There's some really cool architecture. This is probably as cool as it gets in uh, in this city. Now Redcliffe is close to the beach so it is full of like these really cool little spots where you just sit and view the water. Obviously the pier of Redcliffe is a wonder that everyone comes to see. huge space behind me this is called the Bee Gees Way and this is probably the main tourist attraction in our town now I'm gonna say in the 50s uh, in the 50s the Bee Gees moved from the UK to here and they lived through it here for a small period in their life now Australia loves to claim things that are not theirs so we've held on to this very tightly, very deeply, and for forever now, they're immortalized in a in one long alleyway in Redcliffe. Come check it out. I'm just gonna grab the camera.
themselves. Uh, some very cool, very cool models. Now, this is a very cool tourist attraction in our, in our city and I really never appreciate it. There's a show that, there's a movie like, that runs like 24 seven a day. There's like these shared like walkways, so like basically you just start walking across the road. They don't even wait for the car. The car waits for you, so they're kind of cool. But anyways, this thing, I've always tried to get people interested in this thing, and they never are. But anyways, this is the apparatus for non-destructive transmission of biological visualization. art piece but uh, anyways the guy who made it uh, he basically figured out a, a way to, to one sec and discovered and observed oceanic life and believed there was a relic from the lost ship of Andresen hold on I literally don't know what's going on anyways what I get from this uh, this piece of art is that the person who made it uh, was able to keep a specimen from taking a photo of a animal so if he took a photo for an animal instead of like keeping the animal like a zoo he would take a photo and get a small specimen of it and it is said that there is a specimen that still resides inside let's have a look god i really done that badly <laughs> it's basically a dinosaur uh, not as fun when you have to explain it nice one crazy damn Get a good camera if you can't get a good camera man. Anyways, I'll show you my next favorite spot. Oh hey Czech Republic. Look at this. Free water. Hey Czech Republic. Look at this. Free barbecues. You want a barbecue on the beach? Bring your friends here, get some meat. There's a barbecue there, you push the button, you have like half an hour of cooking for free. Well, it's all for free. Uh, there's tables included. And to top it off, it's right next to the beach, you know. Still got that beautiful view. The lagoon, which is, I have to say, stunning. Oh, there's also like playgrounds for kids. Play next to the water. It's not a bad life, really. I don't know why people don't like this place. We don't swim in the water very often. The lagoon's basically like a nice, safe place where you can go for a swim, take friends, even go for a barbecue. There's barbecue areas pretty much everywhere along the beach. It's like chlorine and salt water together. It's kind of weird. Also, in summer, it's just like a big cesspool of, of pee. Hey, check the public. Free shower. And then 21. This was my this was my job, guys. This is where I work. This was my life. This building behind me was a bar supervisor job at this very place, Sutton's Beach Pavilion. Now, it was a great time. It was beautiful. We were doing good things in the bar. We even done cocktail classes. We even had a whole lot of cocktail classes during the COVID period. It was crazy. And I think we were really doing something good for the community. Our boss Ollie, he was such a legend. Oh, and beautiful Sandra. Don't forget beautiful Sandra. But uh, sadly, in like 2022, 2023, it was... Battle is over. Sutton's Beach Pavilion is all but certain to be knocked down. The rubble possibly used to make a garden bed for whatever replaces it. 
The decision taken after revelations saving the historic Redcliffe landmark would cost more than $20 million. That still doesn't mean there wasn't some great memories here. This is probably still my favourite place in Redcliffe. I don't come here very often, but it, it's a cool reminder that it's still there. And it's probably only going to be here for the next few months before it's fully gone. So, yeah, this is my favourite place in Redcliffe. So many good memories and it was such a good time. And this rotunda is like, this rotunda is iconic. This is, I'm looking forward to seeing what the next step is in this Redcliffe area. Well, especially this area. But it's a little sad. But yeah, my favourite place. I used to work up on the bar there. This used to be my bar. This top, whole top roof. And uh, we would serve cocktails there. There was a deck overlooking this beautiful beach. They had the best sunsets here in the whole entire world. It was lovely. Now it's just going to nothing, which is really sad. Anyways, I think this is, pr yeah. There's not really much to see, to be honest. It's all mesh. But these are my favorite places in Rickliffe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me if you want to see anything. I definitely, I got a tip from one of my subscribers. You know who you are, to go buy a steak somewhere. I'm going to go buy a steak somewhere. I'm going to show you some of the cuisine in Australia. I'm going to show you some cool things. I've had a little bit of a break. I've been working so much. It's been hard to get a video out, so we're getting back into the things. Tell me what you want to see in Australia, and let's make it happen. I'm here for about seven more weeks. Let's do it. Favorite place in the whole world. What was your favorite place? Let me know in the comments. Goodbye. See you soon.